Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be all the books uh, that were on my TBR as started but not finished um, on the 1st of January 2023. So I think I've shown this before, I have the um, Little Inklings Designs Always Fully Booked Planner, uh, the 2023 version. In the planner she gives us a reading checklist. I'll hold this up a bit closer so you can see. So you can write in what you're reading at the time. Now you can do this how you want. Some people use this as a list of books they own um, to keep track of what uh, they actually have. Um, some people use it as a TBR, so what they plan on reading this year. Some people like me use it as an ongoing list of the books that they've started. Um, this is page one, and so as I showed just now, and until this point here, yeah, so until this point here, all of these books I had started and were in progress on the 1st of January 2023. So I thought I'd tell you about them. Now, you'll probably notice some markings off on here. Um, before I film this, I made a decision that a couple of these books I'm probably not going to continue with. So I thought I'd tell you about the rest of them. Um, I have hard, now Hard DNF'd Sword of Destiny by Andrzej Sapkowski. This is one of the books of The Witcher. These books aren't for me. Um, I've decided I am never going to go back to this series. It's a DNF. Um, so that's it. Off of the list. I've also DNF'd an omnibus that I had called Gordinius the Finder. Uh, this is a mystery series set in ancient Rome. Um, the first book that I read was okay. It wasn't enough to keep me intrigued. It's just your usual crime in a Roman setting. Um, I'm not a big fan of crime fiction, so I'm never going to come back to it. Um, if I was going to, I probably would have read the second book in the series at the point that I finished the first one. So it's gone. It's off the list. And one that had been on there since September last year was Book Club Pick. It is Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. I actually finished this one. I didn't DNF it. Um, I've actually finished it recently and it was uh, part of my February wrap up. So I will leave that linked in the cards for you um, so you can go and hear my thoughts. But the rest are all ones that at some point I intend to finish. Um, when that will be, if that will be this year, I have no idea. But I thought I'd let you know what was on the list on the 1st of January. The first book is one that's been on the um, ongoing pile for a couple of years. That is The Silmarillion by J.R. Tolkien. This is... Um, stories from the age of first age of middle earth uh it's a bit dry in the telling sometimes it's a little bit um talking at you rather than drawing you in is what i find so i pick it up i read a few pages i put it down every now and again um i haven't read anything from it for about 12 months so I mean, it's not one that I intend to not finish. I do intend to finish it at some point. I want to carry on and read the other works set in Middle Earth. Um, I just find this one a little hard going. So I need long breaks in between. The second book. Um, shouldn't be any shock. Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan. Book six of The Wheel of Time. I've talked about this many times in many videos. I am stuck. I have, you can't see them, I have the whole Wheel of Time series. I want to know how the series ends. I've read this book before, many, many years ago. Um, there are just lots of info dumping in the next few books. And again, like the Silmarillion, it's a little bit at you rather than with you. Um, so I do just need... I do just need some encouragement. I just need to make a plan, basically, and, and stick to it so that I can get through this book. The next one is a romance novel. Um, but by the time you see this, I might have already read it um, because it's for book club uh, pick for March. 
and it's throttled by Lauren Asher. It's, I think it was her very first book. The writing is a little bit sticky. Um, I have since read her Dreamland Billionaire series. I can see the progression in her writing. So I'm actually looking, I, I, at the point that I'm filming this, I'm looking forward to picking it up and finishing it so that I can actually take part in the book club discussion. Um, and also, um, I know that there is progression with her writing. So I'm looking forward to being able to pick up on that um, and see where that goes. Um, and I just want to finish the story. It's set in the world of F1 as well. I like Formula One racing. Um, so yeah, so it's a little bit behind the scenes, but I'm not quite sure how much she knows about Formula One um, and how much research she's done. So and initially when I put it down, I was just a little bit meh about it. If it hadn't been for the fact of the book club, I probably wouldn't have picked it up again. The fourth one. Now, please don't at me for showing this. Um, I don't agree with the author's views. Um, so please don't at me. But I also feel that we can separate how we feel about a book from how we feel about an author. Um, the, I've had these books since before this author became problematic. I am not going to not read them just because of her views. Um, because I don't think these books represent her views. Anyway, it's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, book four in the Harry Potter series. I love these books. Um, I was in a bit of a bad place last year, so I started to reread the series as a whole. Um, but I did get a bit stuck on book four. Um, I just need to pick it up. I think what actually happened was um, I got a bit... I got a bit frustrated because she either got a date wrong, she either got a day of the week wrong or she got a date wrong because Friday the 30th of October for the year that this set wasn't a Friday. And it annoyed me a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I will go back to it. I will go back to it. Like I say, I love the series as a whole. Um, I like that they represent that classism is um, dangerous and not nice um, and that different classes of, of, you know, the poor can be friends with the rich and the rich can be friends with the poor and that the rich should use this as a reason to try and change um, and make the world better so that we're more equal and that love you know, love is good. Um, love could be better represented across these books. And I think that's probably where the representation lacks um, and does fall in with JK Rowling's views. Um, but yeah, I just, they're great fantasy adventure for kids. Um, and I don't think that they necessarily give bad messages to kids. Um, so I'm I'm never going to be sorry for reading these books. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. The next book is another romance. Um, and I think this one is just that I was... I'd read a lot of this author and I got a bit overwhelmed and, yeah, past it. Um, anyway, this book is The Power by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It's the second book in her series and it's... It's about, it's based around Greek gods um, and their children on earth and it's modern day setting. Um, it's teen romance, it's not adult romance. Um, and yeah, it's okay. There's lots of magic and things in there. It's magical, it, it, it's, it's urban romance, urban fantasy romance. Anyway. Anyway, um, I enjoyed the original series that this is a spin-off from. I'm just finding a couple of the characters hard going. And actually, when I read them, I'm just so reminded of the original series that, yeah, I think I, I just need to power through, power through the power um, and get on with it. Um, I do enjoy, I did enjoy the original series. Uh, 
which was I think I can't remember the name the name of the series um but yeah um I know that Jennifer L. Armentrout has come to the notice of YouTube because um from Blood and Ash has blown up which is her most recent series that she's been writing it has blown up um and yeah this is just an early early series from her and you know I don't, I don't, what can I say I just need to get a move on the next one is one that has been on my TBR for absolute years and it's Sepulchre by Kate Moss this is the uh, second book in her Languedoc series. Uh, I think it was a trilogy. I think the third and final book is called Citadel. It uh, follows two separate timelines. Um, one more up to date, one ancient medieval-ish history, I think. Um, and set in France. And yeah. Um, I really enjoyed Labyrinth, which was the first book in the series, and I just never got around to continuing it. Um, at the point that it came out, I was struggling with reading. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I, I've picked it up. I have started it, like I say. And again, it's a bit like um, The Silmarillion. I read a few pages and then I put it down again. Um and it is one that I just need to find a moment where I am fully in the mood for it and sit down and read a good chunk and it will then get me back into it and I'll finish it. Um, I'm still in the very early stages of the book so I'm not really drawn in by the characters at this point um, and I think I just need to get to that point that I'm invested. The next book is the Percy Jackson series. Um, I can't remember whether I'm halfway through the third, or that's how long it's been. I can't remember if I'm halfway through the third or fourth book. Uh, I, again, Greek retellings through the eyes of children. They're intended for teen and um, middle grade, more teen, early teen. Um, and I've enjoyed them so far where they've gone, full of adventure, full of fun. I just need to get back into it. Um, I was binging them and I think they weren't for me, they weren't books to binge, I think they were books that I should have left time in between them all. Um, I just need to get back into it. The next book is a sci-fi fantasy um, and that's The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. I started reading it and I DNF'd it because I was struggling with it. I keep thinking about it. So it's not that I don't want to finish it. I don't know why I DNF'd it at the time. Um, I do intend to finish it at some point. It is very intriguing. There's a magic system which is frowned upon. Um, and there is magic that controls the earth. And the earth is rebelling, I think. Um, yeah. I don't really know what's going on. I think that's part of the problem and um, can't really tell who is who. So just need to um, just need to persevere, I think, with this one um, and get through it. And then maybe by the end of it, um, I'll be sufficiently intrigued enough to continue the entire series. And that's it. That's all the um, books that were in progress. Um, at the start of January this year. There were a couple of others which I haven't talked about that um, they're I'd like the Percy Jackson, their bind up of books, but I wasn't actually part way through a story in the bind up. I had actually finished a story, I just hadn't moved on to the next one. So I decided not to talk about those. Um, we'll see how we get on with those throughout the year. Um, but yeah, what about you? Do you have any books that are sat on your TBR waiting to be read? Um, if they are, uh, let me know what they are in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I make videos as often as the spirit takes me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.